In the 1970s, my parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chowdhury, started to collect art. And they started by acquiring what in those days they felt they could afford and what they thought were the future artists of India. In 2008, we set up the Stella Art Foundation, which was a formalization of all the art that we had been collecting for a great part of our lives. Uh, not only Indian artists, but also Western artists. It started with an interest and passion in buying gifts for each other for birthdays and anniversaries. And, uh, and as my sons grew up, they had a great interest in arts also. And uh, the collection grew big enough for us to make it into a foundation. Stellar International Art Foundation started in 2008. It took as its basis the private collection of the Chowdhury family, um, which at the time was largely Indian art, including M.F. Hussain, Parash Maiti, and Jayshree Berman, who we've chosen to exhibit at Semaritz Art Masters. And it has since then it has gone on to expand into blue chip contemporary as well as late impressionist and modern masters. More and more as time goes by, we're collecting other artists, uh, whether they may be South American, European, uh, you know, some of the older, uh, more famous artists, Picasso, etc. I mean, we've done multiple things. But yes, the focus is for the next couple of years to be more non Indian. Uh, investment base. The vision for Stella Art is to promote on an international scale. St. Moritz is the first art fair for Stella and uh, we are very, very uh, excited. When we first met Paresh Mighty, he was a very, very young, budding artist and we fell in love with as well, immediately. Last 25 years, I am friendly and known to them through my art. And I was probably the first artist also they got to know. They just loved art, they appreciated art, and they were collecting. And they knew that, yes, this is good or this is bad. That was unique, you know, and they are very clear with their, you know, vision. Jeshri is uh, almost a saint uh, within herself. She inspires that sort of feeling in you. And her work portrays her inner being, her personality, which is uh, very beautiful. And her Buddha series, I'm in love with them. It is almost like 18 years I know Stella, and I know Mr. Chaudhary's family, and they, it's fantastic. And I'm really proud that, you know, I am one of the participants. My works will be in Stella and uh, the collections. It's, it's wonderful because they, they have collected M.F. Hussain, Parish Maipi, my, my work, but it's not enough. They have collected Picasso, they have Matisse, they have Chagall, they have beautiful works. And it's, I just can't believe that I'm part of their collections. It's wonderful feelings. Every artist that we collect, we, we like to have a relationship with. It is to help promote, also to build a bond between the artist and the foundation so that there is a connection for many years to come. And a good example would have been Mr. M. F. Hussain. For us, I think all this effort that we have made for the Art Masters for 2014 it's all based on our absolute love for NF Sam. And, uh, and I hope he's, uh, you know, watching this and seeing the success. He would have loved it. I feel personally, when I walk into this room, I feel his presence here. He's walking around with his brush in his hand, and I'm sure he's still touching up a few of the paintings which are here. What was very exciting for me was the possibility of uh, doing this book on Hussein, uh, much more so because 
of the uh, of the collection itself, which was truly amazing. It was truly iconic. Uh, a lot of the works uh, and a lot of the series had never been uh, shown before. Uh, we knew of the Maria collection, for example, but had no idea where it was uh, and whether we'd ever have a chance to uh, view it. There were other uh, iconic uh, bits in the collection, uh, a more recent one called Our Planet Called Earth, uh, which had raised a huge buzz in India when it, uh, in the 2000s uh, when it had been commissioned for a monumental sum at that point in time. The series was never completed and those works were never shown. I think what is going to be amazing is Stella's contribution to the literature around MFSM. What's also very exciting is that this is the first book that has come out after he died uh, in, in uh, 2011. Uh, so it also makes it very significant and I think it puts uh, Stella uh, on very firm footage. Stellar International already has some incredible relationships with auction houses such as Christie's and Sotheby's, commercial galleries um, all over the world. Um, we're really looking at expanding our relationships with other foundations as well as we feel that's incredibly important to share our knowledge base. It's been you know, a great journey as uh, for me individually as well as for Stellar Art to have put together something you know, with obviously Kishore's help in, in documenting his life and that was the most important thing for us. Stellar International has an incredible program for the upcoming years. Uh, we've started obviously with our first exhibition here at Samaritz Art Masters. Um, we will be going on to do things at our Basel Miami as well as the Kochi Biennale and um, it will just go on from there. To Stella. To Stella and more success.